pericardiocentesis is a procedure that removes fluid from the pericardial sac. So remember the heart is enclosed in a double membrane sac. The outer layer is the parietal pericardium and the inner layer is the visceral pericardium or epicardium. Between those two layers is the pericardial space and sometimes there are different reasons why fluid would abnormal amounts of fluid accumulate here and so when that happens um, then the patient needs to have a procedure called the pericardiocentesis. Inflammation of the pericardium is called pericarditis and there's various reasons why that would happen and pericardial effusion again is an abnormal accumulation of fluid in the pericardial sac in the pericardial cavity. Uh, cardiac tamponade, that is the term for um, pressure being placed on the heart because of pericardial effusion, okay? So all of this fluid around the heart uh, puts pressure on the heart, and so it causes the ventricles to not fill correctly. So then therefore, um, as much blood isn't being pumped out, and um, so it's kind of a domino effect, and um, that's what... Uh, pericardial effusion is. So this is a picture um, just kind of demonstrating the peri pericardiocentesis procedure and basically it's as simple as this. Put some local anesthetic here at the xiphoid tip of the sternum, stick a big needle in it and, and pull back and aspirate. Um, and that's pretty much, pretty much it. Here's a video that demonstrates the procedure. Okay, now um, one thing I want to point out here is that this is done in the cardiac cath lab most often, um, but uh, just because it's done in the cardiac cath lab doesn't mean that we use x-ray. There are some procedures done in the cath lab that, you know, the x-ray machine isn't used, and so a lot of times this is done under ultrasound guidance. And so this could be done at the bedside, you know, if the ultrasound machine were taken to the bed. Um, but a lot of times it's just done in the cath lab just because um, that's what's familiar that you know we, we've got the table we've got the we've already got the sterile drapes that you need you know the the, the, the chlor prep you know all of the prep and um, also then the scrub assistant is already there I mean the you know everything's just all set up already so a lot of times they're done in the cath lab but um, do understand that this is done with ultrasound guidance so anyway, it's showing the needle just going in. Of course, the skin has been cleaned and prepped here. The needle's going in, and um, then once the needle is in place, they put a syringe on it and start pulling back. This is kind of neat because this is like an internal view. So this is the heart, and it's getting ready to see that there's just puncturing the thorax, but then this is below that's the heart. Okay, so here that's where they're pulling back or aspirating, and so now they are um, removing that fluid that's built up in the in the sac there, and that is a pericardiocentesis.